Well, happy Monday. We're back again. And today I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. The proverbial elephant, I'll say. When it comes over the past few days, looking at Twitch and YouTube and the constant struggle and battle of the quote unquote supremacy of which one's better, there is a major thing that's missing from this conversation. We're thinking about this in a very binary manner of A or B. When both platforms normally have their positive, you know, you know they have their positives and their negatives. You get into this kind of conversation of being on Team YouTube or Team Twitch. The same thing when it comes down to Team Instagram or Team TikTok. You fill in the platform and it comes down to teams. When we speak about these things, we only think about them in which one's going to win. And that's very understandable to think about what's going to be the most successful platform to be on and to push my content to. When in actuality, this is how I think about things. When in actuality, when you think about what's going to be the better place to place your content, it all depends on the content you're actually providing. And you have to remember that these places are tools for your success. The minute you think about these places as the, you know, end all be all for what you're going to do or how or the kind you're going to produce, you kind of limit yourself. Now there are some, there were some limiters in place between, you know, Twitch partners, you know, providing content on YouTube and vice versa, but it all comes down to producing things for each platform to net you the biggest net reward. When it comes to me personally, I'm on YouTube right now making YouTube content. Will that YouTube content go up? Perhaps. Will I start streaming on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, now when I have a dedicated community on Twitch that you know likes to check in with me live on Twitch, it's very routine. Is the revenue split ideal? No, no it's not. When it comes to, you know, the reward for, you know, having your content be 70-30 on YouTube, I'm sure that is a much better deal. And it should be taken advantage of. The thing I want people to understand is before you go to jump ship to another platform is, are you ready to do so? What are you bringing to this platform that's different from what you did before? Because the format has changed. And how will you tailor that to this new platform? What is going to bring you the best success using A, B, or A and B and C? And controversies aside, I can't think of a better live streaming platform than Twitch. Now, may Twitch fail in a year or so or two years? Who knows? My advice to everybody out there is never become so dedicated to a platform that when it crashes, nothing lasts forever that you have a way out I've learned this early on in my career when I started doing twitch emotes and I started doing other like you know graphics based towards twitch is that that put me in a very narrow market and when it comes to being successful when it comes to being you know a designer with sought after skills or creative with sought after skills Niching down can be really good, but as we've seen with Mixer, if I was if I got really good at making Mixer style, you know, emoticons, uh, I would be really out of luck right now. And people are thinking, well, if Twitch goes down and I do emo design, what will I do on YouTube? This is the thing that happens to a lot of creators that niche down too much. When you are so, what's I'm looking for? When you are so, you know, linked symbiotically to a platform that if it dies, you die, that in itself creates a problem that needs to be solved as quickly as possible. If you do emotes, 
and you do you know illustrations there's no reason why you can't be successful on YouTube and you're saying well how can I be successful on YouTube I'm not I'm not doing the same thing I was doing on Twitch or making the same kind of you know designs for Twitch this is we have to come to a point of doing research for that platform there are a lot of illustrators out there who do you know live 2d rigging you know x y and z I, I won't go to the whole thing but there are a ton of youtubers who do very similar content but it's pre-recorded for example you can check out the illuminati you can check out i think uh i forget this guy's name is saber tunes or something like that saber spark they all have avatars that are two-dimensional that you could have a market and you can put your, you can get your foot in the door right now saying if anybody wants to transition over to youtube I'll be free to, you know, to make you X, Y, and Z, or I'll be free to help you with those graphics for your new channel, or your banners, or your headers, or your intros. When you peg yourself so closely to a you know a, a large you know, organization, these are the problems that can come up. I'm not saying that the, the platform's gonna go down. I do know a lot of larger creators are leaving because of the 730 split. In my personal opinion, I've been getting 50-50 the entire time. And these people that are leaving are making mil millions and millions of dollars already. Or hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it is what it is, as the kids say. Um, when people are jumping ship because they want a better deal, the majority of the population that streams on the platform was never going to get that deal and probably will never get that deal of 70-30. But I understand the frustration of having that taken off the table and taken off the plate by a you know by a platform. That's my personal opinion on that. You know, yours may vary. Um, there's a better deal on YouTube, but also you have to move to the platform to garner a new audience. If you haven't garnered one already, I'm still trying to garner mine here. And I've been doing this for about, about over a year and a half. The content has gotten better. But it's also a huge time sink to produce content for this this platform, which I understand. So, I want you to take that into consideration before you jump ship. And I'm not saying don't jump ship. I'm saying have a plan before you move forward. I saw the same thing happen with Mixer. Uh, I saw the same thing happen with Facebook Gaming. Uh, people see a better deal and they jump ship. Understandably so. But they don't really put the footwork down the groundwork down to be successful before they move on to something else i don't see why you can't use them all personally it's all about using your time effectively and efficiently to get the best results yeah So I hope that helped you guys out. Don't think about it as a team A or B thing. Think about it as a team me thing. Or team community. They have a say too. Not a big say, but they do have a say. All right. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and to the point today. I had to get that off my chest. Make the content and put it wherever it goes and wherever you desire for your own future. Uh, with that, the book's going out this week to be printed. So do not worry. The villain shit will be coming back real soon. I got a special October drop I'm gonna be releasing um, in the next two to three weeks, uh, probably for pre-order. So print them all at one time. Um, all the waifu stickers are the console waifu stickers. Uh, the last day to buy those are the 30th of this month, so September. After that, they are gone. I have like a limited number left at, over, over after that, and they'll be they'll be sold out. Um, I'm doing something new and funny for next month. Uh, if you like this channel, this support what I do here, you can check out the Patreon, patreoncom slash youngcon. Um, and also pick up my coffee from King's Coast Coffee. Um, you know, all this helps support you know what I do. Which is talk to creators, you know, help people in the design industry, and lend a little bit of my uh, expertise for the past six years. 
But I will see you guys next Monday. Till then, have a great day and week. And uh, keep fighting a good fight. Yeah.